are you? How you doing? Doing good, are you? That's good. So I had this idea in my head, <laughs> I don't know what I'm thinking, that if for the last two weeks I've been thinking, I should do vlogist. I should vlog every day for the month of August, just to kind of give myself a challenge um, and to kind of stay connected with you guys because I honestly haven't had the most time to film lately. I went through like a slump there for like a few weeks where I just felt like shit, but now I feel better. Uh, I've been taking CBD oil, non-THC CBD oil, uh, cause I live in Ohio and it's not legal to take the THC kind plus the THC kind TBH, uh, puts me on my ass. So, um, I've been taking CBD oil and I don't know, I just feel a lot better. And I, maybe that like thing that I went through for a couple of weeks was because, you know, the dot was coming up shark week. Um, or maybe not. Sometimes I just go through these phases where like, you know, I have these lapses in time where I just feel like shit and it just everything sucks and then I get over it in like a couple of weeks but for that two weeks it's like god fuck everything I don't want to do anything you know what I mean it's not to the point where I'm like oh my god I can't get out of bed in the morning or anything like that it's just like I just don't want to do anything so uh I decided in order to challenge myself to challenge myself <laughs> to challenge myself because there's that rooster again. There's a rooster that's been visiting us on occasion. He just like walks around the yard. I don't know where the fuck he came from. He showed up one day and now he's like here to stay. So, um, as I was saying, what was I saying? Oh yes, I want to do it to challenge myself and to be able to stay connected with you guys because I have literally not had all the time lately for filming um I just like I had to work all weekend and then we were doing things with our family all weekend this weekend we're going camping all weekend uh this week I have to get everything together for camping we've got houses we're going to look at surprisingly a lot of houses have like come up on the market so um also I started keto again what is today is Tuesday. I started keto again last Monday. Tim's doing it with me this time. So in order to kind of like keep him going, instead of doing it the way I'm used to doing it, which is like just fucking basically eating meat and cheese <laughs> and like being real lazy about it. Instead of doing that, I've decided to like make things that would kind of keep him on track. Uh, and it's so much easier with him doing it with me. So I, um, have been that's the thing that sucks about keto is like you basically have to fucking like forge your own everything like make your own shit make your own fucking dessert make your own fucking supper make your own snacks like you basically have to make your own everything so you can tailor it to your ketogenic lifestyle or whatever it kind of annoys me but it's something where I can do you know what I mean like I can't do other things because I have no willpower <laughs> So there's that, throwing that in there. So I usually don't care for vlogs. Uh, I think I've told you guys before, like I find them insatiably fucking boring, but I thought, and I know a lot of other people do too. I'm still gonna do videos like outside of the vlog, like film normal fucking videos, but I just know that over the next couple of weeks, they're gonna be very like scattered. So I was like, let me, just fucking let's fucking vlog it let's do it here we go i thought to myself well <laughs> let me be real fucking coy <laughs> i thought to myself what are you doing because don't fucking tell them you're gonna do something else you're not gonna do um but then i thought you know even if it's just a fucking five minute video of me like telling you what's on my mind at the moment it's gonna give me a challenge and like force me to do it plus i think it'll just kind of get me into the habit of filming more, you know what I mean? Instead of like, I don't know, sitting and watching fucking Orange is the New Black or something like that. So, uh, again, normally I don't like vlogs, so some of these vlogs maybe are gonna be like follow me around vlogs. Some of them I might just fucking get on camera and be like, this is what I think about this. Uh, and some of them, I, I don't know yet. I don't know what some of them are gonna be just saying hopefully uh no no i'm not gonna say hopefully 
this weekend, like I said, we're going camping. Friday, before we go camping, we are going to look at a house. Um, let me not say that. <clears throat> we're going to look at our house, our new house, um, putting it out into the universe that this is going to be our house. I am 100% positive that this is our house. It is an almost uh, replica of the very first house we went and looked at that we kind of missed the boat on. Um, we went and looked at a house two fucking years ago, two years ago, uh, that was like exactly what we wanted, okay? Exactly what we wanted. And the people wanted way too much money for it. So we kind of went back and forth in pricing. And I think I've told you guys this before. We kind of went back and forth in pricing. And what happened was they nobody had seen that house. Um, they showed that house uh, for like two years. And we were like the first people to look at it within like a year or something like that. Like nobody was living in this fucking house, okay? My realtor said, um, we went back and forth on pricing. We came to a price and they're like, now we're firm on our price. My realtor said, give it a little bit, give it a couple of weeks. Um, and you know, when nobody goes and looks at this house, like they haven't been for two years, then they'll come back and because the price was only five grand off. You know what I mean? Like we were at this price, they were five grand higher. That's it. So, uh, she's like, give it a, give it a little bit. They'll come down because no one was interested in this house. Okay. So we were like, okay, literally a week later they sold it for the price that they wanted. So we were like, oh my God. And it was like our perfect house. This house we're going to look at Friday is our perfect house. It's exactly what we want. It's open concepts, vaulted ceilings. It's in town. Um, it's got a fenced in yard already for the dogs. Like it's perfect. So that's going to be our house. I just fucking know it is. There's no if, ands, or buts around it. Putting it out into the universe, been manifesting it. I knew it would come. See, we have some money saved up and we have money saved up for a down payment. But the problem is, is when it came to like buying a house, our down payment would have almost completely like wiped out our bank account. Um, and I was waiting for a inheritance that I got from my grandpa passing away. Um, my grandpa passed away back in December and I wasn't that close to him. I was close to him when I was younger, but he was a super like, you know, money, like he always had stocks and CDs and everything like that. Um, and I was one of the only grandchildren that was like closer to him when I was younger. After my dad died, my dad's side of the family kind of shunned me <laughs> for reasons unknown. I don't know. But anyways, I'm not going to go into it. So, um, my grandpa, because of the way the family treated me, left me money. Um, he left everybody else money too. Um, but he had just happened to leave me like this extra money. Um, and on top, which was what we were saving for a down payment, but you know, bills and vacations and everything else, we kind of blew through it. So we have been waiting on an inheritance from the entire estate. And I knew our house would come once we got that money. Like I just knew it in my brain. Like I felt that. And I got that check probably two weeks ago for that inheritance money. And now we have the, we have plenty of money to, for a down payment to not wipe our bank account out and still be good. And boom, literally like two days later, this house comes up and I'm like, that's it. That's her. So anyways, um, Friday, we're going to look at that. Going to look at my new house Friday. I'm super excited about it. Just saying. So as I said, I've been eating keto. I'm going to hop off real quick and eat my beef fast, which is this. I made everything bagels, um, to try out for keto. It's just, you have to make everything you fucking eat and it sucks, but I'm going to try them and see. Let me try them on camera real quick. I just got the recipe off Pinterest. If you guys want a recipe for everything bagels, just go on Pinterest and search recipe for everything bagels keto. Mukbang. <laughs> salt but it's actually like not that bad 
Obviously it has, oh, I bet that's Tim. Okay, BRB. Sorry about that, dude. Um, obviously I woofed that bagel down. It was <clears throat> literally so good. Like, it wasn't obviously not the texture of bread, but kind of the texture of bread. I would definitely suggest if you're on keto, Pinteresting keto everything bagel because it's so good that just reminds me Aiden used to have this Elmo and Aiden used to love bagels when he was like real little and his Elmo it was like programmable and it would say Aiden loves bagels every time I say the word bagel I think that anyways uh that was fucking delicious I kind of want seven more it was so good um so as I was saying, yeah, I would definitely look that recipe up. It's so fucking good. So back to um, what I, mm, I don't remember what I was talking about. Usually I have to check the footage to see what I was talking about, but I don't remember. I think I was talking about my house. Was that it? I think it was. So we're going to look at this house Friday. Our house Friday, not this house. It's going to be our house. I won't let anybody tell me any different. It's our house. So... Because I have been so, what's the word I want to use, um, reveled in the fact that this is our new house. I have been doing a lot of cleaning up around our house and I think I have like a sesame seed or a poppy seed in my teeth. Um, I have been so enamored in the fact that this is our new house that I've been going around kind of, you know, like organizing our house and getting things together and stuff so been doing a lot of that I cannot wait to go camping this weekend we're gonna go to Lake Laramie I don't know how I'm gonna be able to vlog I just told him I was vlogging I was like I'm doing vlogs and he's like uh I don't have to be in it <laughs> he hates being on camera oh he hates it so bad he's like I don't want it just keep me away from it. I don't want everyone nothing to do with it. So I was like, no, but I'm going to be doing it every day. So he's like, well, just make sure I'm not. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so I need to, my house is fucked. My house is trash. I need to get it together. I'm going to have bro do the dishes and my bedroom needs completely organized. And then I got to get into my attic because that's where all of our camping supplies is. We used to go camping so much um, when we were younger, like when Aiden was younger, I think probably because we were broke. Uh, and <laughs> camping is relatively cheap and fun, a lot of fun and cheap. Um, we're going this weekend because my mom had mentioned something. They got a tent, so they got a fire under their ass to go camping. So um, I am, oh. I just looked at the thing on my uh, monitor and I was like, I have been sitting here talking and not even recording, but I am. So I got to go dig all of our camp and shit out of my attic. And before I even do that, I have to clean my bedroom, which is a fucking, just even too embarrassing to like take the camera up there and do some fucking like weird YouTube cleaning montage because it's no. Okay. No. So, uh, I will probably jump on later and, uh, do some things and stuff. Once I get my bedroom cleaned, hopefully I'm going to have time because we don't have karate for the next six weeks. So I have a lot more time, um, on Tuesdays and Thursdays than I usually do. So when I, um, I'm going to try my best to quickly clean my bedroom. Sometimes I get a little sidetracked, like... When I was cleaning my closet earlier, I got a little sidetracked watching the uh, Tiana Mojo what the fuck ever video it was that she just put out. Like the, this is why fucking Tana Khan was a piece of shit video, which the entire video consists of her saying, this video is not gonna be me blaming everybody. Because in the end, it was really all my fault. It was my name, my name was on it. And then continues on in the video, literally doing nothing in the video, but blaming other people. <laughs> so, whatevs. But, 
you know, throwing in an occasional, but it's, it, it, in the end of it, it's my fault. But in the end, it's my fault. Blame, 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 but it's my fault. Blame, 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 but it's my fault. That doesn't work like that. That's not how that works. You know what I mean? So, got a little sidetracked with that. Uh, and I still have this week's episode of Claws to Watch and Team Mom 2. I need to go fucking gym is what I need to do. That also will be a part of my day. I gotta go to the gym. So, I don't know, again, how long these vlogs are gonna be, but... You know, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I'm kind of a piece of shit person that has ADD and can't ever like stay focused on one thing for too long, but I'm really gonna try this. So I am gonna go upstairs and clean up my bedroom. And then what? Oh, before I got into that, I was gonna say that before I got into that, I was getting ready to say that um, I'm gonna try to clean my bedroom up fairly quickly because I want to film. And I, I have to film my jet ski story. Jesus Christ, you guys, it's been so fucking long that I said I was going to do that. And then probably my gratis haul, I'll film that. Can I be honest with you guys? I have to film um, the review of the Manny palette. <sighs> Spoiler alert. I don't really like it. And not because it's a bad palette. But I don't like it because I just don't like the colors and I don't like the layout of it. It has nothing to do with quality of the palette. Um, quality wise, it's, it's kind of decent, but I just don't care for it. I've literally used it probably four times and I've had it for maybe a month or something. I just like, I pick it up to try to force myself to use it and then I end up grabbing something else because I'm like, <sighs> That's how I feel about it. Not that it's bad, like, not in like a, oh, it's fucking palace, it's quality, blah, blah, blah way, but more like a, mm, I don't really care for that way. Know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm going to get off here and clean my room uh, and quit wasting fucking time. And I will probably be back in a little bit. So I want to you then. Okay, I got my bedroom cleaned. Um, I am going to slap us some makeup on and try to film something really quick before Tim gets home. No guarantees. Uh, as I've told you guys before, I don't like fucking filming when Tim's here. It's A, it's awkward, and B, I just don't like doing it when he's here because, um, Two-Face Hangover RX. This isn't like a get ready with me, I'm just telling you guys. Giving y'all the update of my life, as is the vlog or something. Uh, I don't like filming when he's here because it's awkward and also I like to spend time with him. I, after, you know, Tim and I have been together for, oh Jesus, Aiden's 13, 14 years and after 14 years I still like we are still a little bit obsessed with each other. I think we have, um, some serious psychological issues that need to be dealt with because we are very attached to each other and very dependent on each other. Like, I don't like going anywhere without him. He doesn't like going anywhere without me. We are, as our friends would put it, up each other's asses. And I, I don't have a problem with that. I'm, I'm totally fine about that. So he... I just got the phone with him and he said that he talked to our uh, finance guy, mortgage broker, I don't really know what they're called, Tim deals with all that shit, he talked to him and let him know that, yo, we're going to look at this house and it's probably the one that we're going to buy. So that makes me feel good because that means Tim is on board with putting out into the universe. Cool, I just got all the foundation in my hair, that's fucking cool. Um, putting out into the universe that yes, this is our house. So I'm super stoked about that. A lot of times when I try to do manifestation, Tim's just like, mm, okay. <laughs> but this time he's like totally fucking on board. So we're super stoked, super excited. So I'm gonna like slap makeup on real quick and um, try and film my fucking jet ski story. Jesus Christ, how long has it been? Maybe I should just fucking tell it in a vlog. Just, uh, you know, do this. It's such a funny story though, cause it's like my first time on a jet ski and 
it's just all the shit that happened was like so crazy so i'll tell it that's that's the video that i'm gonna do so many of you guys wanted it it was like an overwhelming response when i said oh my god do you guys want to hear this story so fucking many of you were like yes and then i got a comment the other day uh from one of you guys like bitch you gonna tell the story or not <laughs> which i would totally like take no offense to like yeah i need to don't i so uh that's what's up i had little bit of seafood salad for lunch for my keto lunch i fucking bought this deluxe first of all <clears throat> if you have a myers near you and you're on keto and you like seafood this deluxe seafood salad is fucking life it's so good and it's only two carbs for two tablespoons i think which i usually never eat more than like two or four tablespoons so i think the entire thing is probably like maybe 12 tablespoons so it's i mean you could eat the entire fucking jar well it comes in like a little tupperware like a butter tub you know what i'm saying you could probably eat the entire jar and stay under like 12 carbs which i mean i'm not telling anyone to eat the entire jar but sometimes i do just saying the lighting is dick in here i hate fucking filming when it's like rainy outside because i have such bad lighting in here i really need to like get up on the amazon and buy some more lighting because my fucking lot of good folks but i don't want to buy it because when we move i don't want to have to just like more shit that i have to take with me you know what i mean so i don't want to have to fuck with that um so anyways that is what i did i got over camping stuff out and unbeknownst to me <laughs> i went yesterday when i went grocery shopping i bought aiden a um what is that called air mattress bought aiden a twin size air mattress because we had like a full size one but i think it had a hole in it um and i found another air mattress in there so i'm gonna have to blow that up and see if it fucking works because if so best believe i'll be taking that air mattress back but i don't know maybe i should keep the king or the queen one or the twin one because we have a queen so the twin one would allow for way much more room in our tent we have like an eight person tent or something like that it's gonna be so much fun this weekend i'm so excited <laughs> i'm so excited why am i so weird i don't know you'll find that out the longer you know the vlogs go on the weirder i'll get just you wait girl because i'm fucking should not be allowed in public just throwing that out there so right now i'm just uh you know throwing the space up on dude i'm starting to get a headache so i might wear my glasses for my video just because it's just like a story time video so so the fuck what um because ugh. My head's starting to hurt. I think it's because I haven't had my glasses on all day long. I don't know why I didn't put my glasses on this morning. I want to buy uh, some new glasses. The last pair of glasses that I got, so many people ask me. My glasses that I wear are from I Buy Direct. E Y E B U Y Direct. I Buy Direct dot com. Uh, they were literally like forty bucks. Um, they're in the style Myrtle. That is the style name of them. Yo, let me just put this out here first and foremost. I have what some people would refer to as a basketball head. <laughs> I have an enormous, unusually enormous size head. So when you order those glasses, just forewarning, they are for big headed people. I'm trying to find some like pedophile glasses, you know, like the fucking state dick glasses, like state trooper glasses because I think they're so cute and they look so good on me. Cause I look really good in aviators. I look good in any glasses, girl. I look good in glasses, I look good in hats. I look good fucking, uh, what are they called, beanies because I have a big head, that's why. So I need to peep up on it cause I need some new glasses. The only thing that sucks about buying glasses like that when you get them from like Zenny Optical or I buy direct or wherever. I'm not even gonna fix my nail for my video because I don't care anymore. Let me finish this thought before I start into this other thought that I'm about to get into. Um, the only thing that sucks when you buy glasses off of websites like that is yes, they are insanely cheap. 
Yes, the frames are literally exactly the same. You can buy a pair of fucking Versace frames for $800 and a pair of I Buy Direct frames for $40 and it's like same quality. It's all that like acrylic or whatever um, material they're made out of, whatever that material is called. It's all the same shit. Sorry if I seem like I'm like going like this, but my camera, see when I sit up, it does that because my camera's just sitting on a Sephora bag right now. Uh, anyways it's it's all the same shit but when it comes to the lenses the lenses from what my experience is no matter if you get them um coated polarized whatever the fuck the options are for lenses no matter how expensive the lenses uh on those really cheap sites they're not as good as like really good quality lenses and because they're not as good as really good quality lenses uh they have a tendency to scratch a lot and mine are like so scratched up right now uh hence the reason why i need to get some new ones that it's like impairing my vision <laughs> a little bit like it feels like it's like impairing my vision just a little bit so i need to fuck up on some new glasses um but i'm like i, I don't want to spend like a bunch of money right now just because we're getting our house so haven't really been like that's a fucking lie. I always tell myself I haven't really been shopping that much. And then I go spend $70 at Ulta or fucking $200 at TJ Maxx. That's going to have to stop too. What was I going to say earlier? I had a really, really um, like provoking thought going on in my head about what I was going to talk about. And then I forgot about it. This is usually why it takes me so fucking long to like film videos is because i always forget what the fuck i'm talking about because a day day bye bye oh fuck i just dropped that what was i gonna say i honestly don't remember what it was i don't remember what i was gonna say but uh what see this is what happens i get on this thing where i just like totally forget what i'm talking about and then i'm like uh for like 10 minutes and then i have to rewind all the thoughts in my head like what was I talking about what was I thinking about at the time what was going on in my brain and I, 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 I don't remember I really don't I know it was something with YouTube like I was gonna do something about YouTube I hope you guys like these vlogs it's just it's just me girl I've come to the decision that I'm done trying to be a fucking beauty guru <laughs> basically i mean not that i'm like trying to be a beauty guru when i first started my youtube channel um my intention was to do makeup videos and to be that person that was not like everybody else to be that person that would not um sell out i guess so to speak so uh and I, I think I've stayed pretty true to that, but the problem with me, you know, staying true to not selling out, not doing sponsorships and affiliates and things like that is I don't make any fucking money because <laughs> I don't have a big enough following to, um, you know, do anything with. Like, I don't have a big enough following in order to make even just half-ass decent money off of AdSense, but... I've come to the realization that the reason why I don't make as much off of AdSense is because I don't upload that much. So maybe I'll like make this vlogging thing like a thing. What do you guys think? I don't know. Just thoughts running through my head. I got a lot of energy right now. <laughs> so when I'm jacked up on like matcha or like caffeine and stuff, uh, I, I get all these like pure intentional thoughts that, you know, I have the best intentions of fulfilling and then don't because then I come down off my caffeine high and I feel like I don't feel like doing that. You know what I mean? That seems to take work. <laughs> Something I'm, I'm not super into. No, I'm just kidding. But honestly... Uh, I really want to do something, I think, with my YouTube channel. I know I say that all the time, but it's just a part of the fucking 
heinousness and the disease that is ADD because you have full intentions of, you know, fulfilling things that you want to fulfill. Like, you know, you get all these ideas in your brain and it's like of things that you want to do and of intentions that you want to fill and then life comes and I don't know it just fucking doesn't happen look at the brush I'm using right now like could you be any skinkier thanks uh yeah so that I, I don't know where I was going with that I wasn't really going anywhere with it I was just saying that I think I want to do more my point of that was that I do have like the best intentions of like doing things on my YouTube and really working to get it done because it would be I know that I can like the thing is is like I know that if I put forth the effort I could make this channel what I want but the problem is is that I just have this like weight holding me down because everything on YouTube now when it comes to the makeup community is so fucking perfect everything is so perfect the lighting is perfect the videos are perfect the quality is perfect everybody's got perfect fucking teeth and perfect face and perfect skin and perfect 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 and I don't want to be that and you know, I think about it all the time, and I was thinking about it the other night, and I'm like, just fucking fuck it, you know? I always, that's another thing that kind of holds me back from being able to film so much is, um, I always have this, like, preconceived notion that I have to be on, and by that, I mean, when I say on, I mean, like, my hair has to be done, my nails have to be not fucking broken, like this. Uh, my skin's gotta be looking good that day, but I'm fucking done with that shit, because that's like fake-ass beauty guru shit, and that's not who I am. It's not, and I, I'm that person that doesn't give a fuck. I will fuck up a fucking Walmart without no makeup on and fuck some shit up. I used to not, like, I used to be very self-conscious, and it's like the older that I get, the more I don't care, and... You know, I was just kind of thinking about it the other night as you do, like, with your thoughts in your head. You're just kind of like, this thought and this thought, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just kind of go through scenarios, if you will, in your head. And I was going through scenarios in my head of, you know, just kind of like not being so on when I film. And... Then I started thinking, like, no, I can't do that because then people won't watch my videos if I do that because everybody's going to think I'm a fucking skank because I am and kind of proud of it. No, I'm not proud of being a skank, but I'm just a normal fucking person. I'm not a beauty guru. I don't want to portray this crazy ass, like, fake bullshit like everybody else does and... It seems like numbers wise, because these are the thoughts that were going through my head. It seems like numbers wise that that is what people like, that that is what people want. But then I started thinking, no, it isn't, because I started thinking about Teen Mom. <laughs> and I know this sounds so fucking lame, but I started thinking about Teen Mom. And I thought, you know what? The reason why that show took off and the reason why they are so popular and why everybody loves them um, and why it's lasted so long, I mean, that show's been going on for seven or eight years, is because they are so real. Oh, there's a gnat in here. Is because they are so real. Like, they're just real ass fucking people. Like, they're not, you know, I mean, they're fucking famous people on MTV, but they're not out here living this, like, extravagant life. They're just living relatable lives. They're fucking taking care of their kids, and they're working normal fucking jobs, but they, do, they have this show. So, that started to make me think, like, you need to just fucking get on it, you know? Just cool it out, quit fucking trying to like keep up with the masses and say fuck it and just be what you are. So that my friends is what I'm going to do. 
um, I'm done like trying to be on for videos. If I don't feel like fucking, you know, putting a fucking face on to do a video, I'm not gonna fucking put a face on to do a video. The way that I see it is, I think people like watching those people, like bigger YouTubers, with their like lavish fucking beauty or shit, uh, for almost like shock value. And the way that I see it, there's more of me in you guys out there than there is of them. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, there's more Nikki's out in the world than there is Jaclyn Hills, than there is Manny MUAs, than there is Jeffree Stars. I mean, Jeffree Stars are fucking one of a kind, let's be real. Um, there's more relatable, normal, just working class, fucking legit ass, real ass, motherfucking bitches out there you know what i'm saying so that is who i am and that's who i am going to continue to be so uh yeah if you like it you like it if you don't you don't what the fuck ever who cares right not this one right here but the reason why i was thinking about it is because i did, I, I i would like to turn youtube into like some type of lucrative career something more than 150 dollars a month <laughs> which is about what I make now. Um, if I could get away with making, you know, just under a grand a month, I would be cool. I, I mean, just under a grand. So if I could pull in, you know, a few hundred dollars a month, uh, I would be cool with that because then it would give me money to like put back into my channel and live off of. Right now, the money that I make just is like just enough just to put back in my channel and I don't even do that because I fucking use it or I save it in a bank account and don't do anything with it because it's like it's almost like I'm scared to spend it because what if the day comes when I can't fucking buy something for my YouTube channel like what the fuck is wrong with you I don't know what's wrong with me could one of you please tell me that would be fucking fabulous. So I think I'm gonna um, change it up a little bit around here parts. I'm just gonna be not so on. Uh, I'm not gonna care. I'm just gonna jump in front of the camera if I have fucking glasses on and like no makeup on, who gives a fuck, right? I always just worry about like, I'm not looking my best and I don't know why either because it's not like I'm that way in the real world, you know? I'm not fucking putting, uh, believe me, bitch, I used to, I used to be, I used to fucking go to the Myers or the Walmart with like eight pounds of makeup on. And it's like the older I get, the more I'm like, can't be bothered. Know what I'm saying? Just because I feel like back then I just kind of existed. <laughs> as fucked up as it sounds. Uh, I didn't really have like anything to do. I didn't really do anything. To be honest with you guys, like, when I first started doing YouTube, um, I, I, I just kind of ignored like my house. My house was always a mess all the time. Um, I, I didn't clean very much, I didn't do laundry very much. I didn't like keep, I didn't have pride in my home. And I think uh, a lot of that um, had to do with the fact that I wasn't, I didn't like where I was. And now that I like my house, I pride in my house, I want to keep it that way. You know what I mean? So, um, everything else kind of gets put on the back burner, even though nobody comes to my fucking house. Nobody ever comes over. Nobody ever comes to my house ever. Like, literally. <laughs> nobody is at my house except for my parents. Uh, except for Tim's mom and like my mom and her boyfriend. That's about the only people that come to our house. But I know that one fateful day when somebody just happens to be tap tap tapping on my door that my fucking house is gonna look good super cool thing happened um it stopped recording while i was talking uh i was i was saying some pivotal shit i really wasn't but i was just you know yammering on about how we're gonna freaking be a youtuber or something i don't fucking know uh but I thought, let me just finish with let me just finish with my makeup and uh, be done with it, you know? Let me just finish my makeup because I already sat there and talked forever. 
about some dumb shit but as I was saying um I just want to do something I don't know with my channel I always say that but it's like I'm always so scared to go outside of makeup videos because I feel like so many of you came here for that and when I go outside of that I get a little scared because I'm afraid y'all are gonna be like did I I literally okay do you want to know what I just did I have this bottle of oil sitting here and I don't know there must have <laughs> some oil must have gotten on my desk so I literally picked it up with my fingers and stuck it in my hair because that's how fucking ratchet I am but anyways um I always say that but I, I as I said I'm like always scared to do it because I'm always afraid oh my god these people came here for makeup they don't give a fuck about anything else but you do because you tell me you do so you know I need to get the fuck on it and get it I oh I'm only at 32 percent on my um camera so I am gonna get off here happy fucking Wednesday to you. I uh, am gonna get on here or get off here and film my video before Tim gets home, which I will hopefully have up tonight. Jesus, I got mascara everywhere. Listen, listen. Okay, so you know how I like permed my lashes? This fucking eye is like, there's no way you guys are gonna be able to see that. It literally, okay, so oh, see that? See how like my hooded eyes bends it down because for some reason it it curled too far back. I, I think I will do that tonight. I think I will recurl my lashes because this really drives me nuts. Like this one I haven't recurled and it's like perfect. I tried to recurl this one and it fucking fucked it up again. It's like that first bout of perming that I did when I filmed that video um, fucked my lashes up. So I went through and I tried to reperm them and the reperming just didn't work. Maybe I didn't put enough perm solution on. I don't know, but I'm just going to go back and do it because this one like turned out so good. Do you see how like my lashes stand up and these ones don't? This eye always grows so much thicker and so much longer than what this eye does and it drives me nuts. Well now it's like the roles are reversed and this eye is growing so much thicker and longer than this eye is and it's driving me nuts. So uh, I need to tint my brows again too because we're going camping. I'm probably not honestly even going to take makeup camping. I mean I might take a little but what kind of bitch takes makeup camping? Like really? Who the fuck are you? Bougie ass bitch. No I'm just kidding. Anyways uh, I'm going to get off here and get to filming my video, I have got to put my glasses on. I can always tell that I have a headache from not wearing my glasses because it's always like right here for some reason. And right here is like starting to hurt a little bit. So I don't know why I didn't put my glasses on this morning. I just didn't, I just, just didn't think about putting them on. And I haven't had them on all day. So it's starting to give me a little bit of a haddock. A little bit of a haddock. Okay, so I am gonna get off here. Let me know in the comments if you guys are fucking totally down with bloggists or you're like, <laughs> bitch, I really could give two fucks about what you do on a day-to-day -day basis. Let me just pre-warn you, I'm not that fucking exciting, okay? I'm really not. I literally just clean my house, go to work, fuck with my face, play with my dogs, and feed my kid. That's what I do on a daily basis. Nothing super exciting or out of the ordinary. Let me just preface by saying that. So you uh, you have a lot of fun with that. You, you have so much fun watching this because it's probably going to be the most boring thing on the YouTubes to date. I don't know. We'll see. So let me know in the comments what you think about Vlogus. If you are down for it or not. Oh, obviously, um, I'm probably not going to be able to keep up with like each and every single comment for vlogist. So if you have like questions about anything or anything like that, um, or if you have like ideas of stuff you want to see, like if you want to see me make keto stuff or anything like that, there's a fucking gnat in here that keeps flying around my head and it's awesome. Um, and anything, whatever you guys want to see, like for the month of vlogist. Happy vlogist! It's here and we're doing it. I'm a little bit nervous and scared, but I'm gonna fucking do it. Gotta keep your battery charged. Gotta fucking stay on it. Stay on it. I'm talking to myself in the mirror. Just, just get your good. 
Okay, so I am gonna end today's vlog is because fuck, it's a long one. They all might not be this long. Maybe some of them will be short. Maybe some of them just be little snippets like, yo, this is what I think about this and that's my vlog. Peace, love, and chicken grease. I, 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 uh, I don't know where I'm going with that. Okay, so I'm gonna hop off. Happy vlogist. I will see you guys tomorrow with my chat off now. I'm not gonna fix it because we're going camping this weekend. I'm gonna take my nails off while we go camping. Now, did you really give a fuck about that? I just thought I would put that in there just so you know. Okay, goodbye.